morning, girls and boys. It is Monday, June 22nd, and we are going to do some word problems today. All right, um, I'm doing this worksheet. This should be the first word problem worksheet you have after the book pages. Um, so let's start. It's a little bit of English, a little bit of math. It says, Haruto has tomato plants in his backyard. This year, the plants grew 127 tomatoes. Birds had eaten 19 of the tomatoes. 23 tomatoes had been ruined by bugs. He picked the rest. How many tomatoes did Haruto pick? All right, so let me get my pencil here. All right, so he's got 127 tomatoes and birds ate 19 of them and also a bunch of bugs ate 23 of them. So here's all my numbers. Um, and let's make sure we read this sentence here at the top. It says, solve the word problems, show your work. Okay, so don't just give me answers. I want to see how you are setting up the problem. Okay, try and make an equation. All right, so we have our total is 127. And it seems like we are doing a subtraction problem because birds ate 19. And also bugs ate 23. So I'm going to make another subtraction problem. So we have 127 minus 19 minus 23. All right. And that's how we set up our equation. And I'll let you kids figure out these answers on yourself. Okay. So just make sure you know to how to set up an equation, whether you are doing addition or subtraction or multiplication or division. All right. So this one is a subtraction one. And let's move on to the next. It says Webster Elementary School has 124 first graders. I'm going to underline that. That seems important. 124 first graders and 130 second graders. On Friday, 12 first graders and nine second graders were absent. So these kids are not in school. So how many first and second graders were in school on Friday? Okay. Well, um, this is here's our total over here, 124 and 130. So they actually have two separate totals for first and second grade. So 124 is our total. And these kids were absent, minus 12. Equals something. Hmm. And then we also have a different total. We want to do 130 minus 9. All right, so there's a couple different ways you can do this. Uh, you could add up both of these totals prior to, um, or you could do it the way that I'm doing um, and subtract out and then add those totals together, okay? So um, we want to know how many first and second graders were on school, uh, were at school on Friday, were in school on Friday. Um, so yeah, we have 124 plus 130 minus 12 and minus nine, okay? So that's the way you do that one. I'm gonna keep going, let's continue. Oops. Problem C here. All right, Cole and Bryson went to video game land. Ooh, that sounds fun. Cole won 152 tickets. Bryson won 84 tickets. They want to put their tickets together. That's an important word. Put their tickets together to get a large toy monkey that costs 300 tickets. How many more tickets do they need? Okay, so um, one of them has 152 and the other one has 84. 
152 plus 84 equals how many? Okay, so this is an addition problem. So first you're gonna find the answer to that. And then um, we are trying to get a toy monkey, okay, that costs 300 tickets. So after you get this answer, whatever that ends up being, then you are going to take that total and you're gonna go 300 minus whatever our answer ends up being, okay? And then that will give you how many more tickets they need, all right? So 152 plus 84 equals, hmm, all right? And then you're gonna take that number. Oops, I don't wanna put a zero in here, actually. That would be confusing. Um, whatever our total is, then you will put it down here. 300 minus the total will give you your new uh, answer of how many tickets they need, okay? All right, and let's check out problem D. Problem D, oh man. All right, Clementine and Jake make cookies, yum yum, for the school bake sale. Clementine baked 72 cookies, all right? Let's underline that. Jake baked twice as many as Clementine. How many cookies did they bake all together? All right, so twice means two times, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take 72 times two. Equals what? Okay. And then it says, how many cookies did they bake all together? So uh, we are going to take 72 times two, and then we're actually going to add another 72 because Clementine baked 72 and he, Jake baked uh, twice as many as she did. All right. So that answer plus 72 equals our new answer. All right. So once again, make sure you show your work and make sure you set up a equation first and equation. Um, otherwise, you're going to make some mistakes. Uh, hopefully, this clears a bit of things up for you. Um, if you still need more help, um, you can always rewind this video or just message me on Class Dojo. All right. Bye bye.